Mr. Minister, Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests at the opening of the Center of Excellence, it gives me great pleasure to announce very exciting research coming from the Evolutionary Studies Institute and the new Center of Excellence here at the University of Witwatersrand. I'm here today representing 26 scientists that are appearing on six papers and one introductory report that are appearing literally within the next hour or so in the journal Science. Um, this follows, of course, the discovery of Australopithecus sediba in 2008 and our publication of a new species in 2010 in two papers in the journal Science. That was followed two years ago by five papers in the journal Science as well that covered critical areas of anatomy, like the brain, the hand, the pelvis, and the foot, and also put one of the most precise dates on this assemblage ever achieved. 1.977 to 1.98 million years. These new papers cover the remarkable fossils from this site. Most of the specimens represent uh, specimens that we've never seen before in the fossil record. They include the most complete upper limb ever discovered, a very ape-like morphology indicating Sediba was a climber. They include a thorax, an area of anatomy almost never seen in the fossil record that says the upper part of Sediba's thorax was very ape-like and the lower part human-like, a, a mosaic pattern that we, we also have not seen in other early hominids. We report a spine, uh, the most complete ever discovered. Uh, that, that says that Sediba had a very ape-like flexibility of the spine, but very human-like condition, particularly in the lower spine, and including more doses, we can actually see the curvature of the lower spine in, in these well-preserved specimens. We look at the lower limb and can see aspects of anatomy that just typically isn't preserved as well, including the first patella that's ever been found, uh, that's reported in this series of, of papers, and also an introduction to how Sediba might have walked. And I can tell you this, it didn't walk like anything we've ever seen before. Uh, and the final two papers in this series look at the dentition, and they tell us a story about where Sediba might and might not fit into the human evolutionary story. What they imply is that possibly the way in which we thought humans had evolved very cleanly through things like Australopithecus afarensis, that is Lucy species, may not be correct. They do imply that there may be another ghost lineage out there, but it also says that Sediba has to now be considered potentially one of the best ancestors of the lineage that leads to us, that is the lineage of the genus Homo. So it gives me great pleasure to, to be here today. Well, not actually with you. I'm actually in the United States right now. But to be with you in spirit and to launch this exciting new phase of research. Um, congratulations to the university for gaining the center of excellence. And congratulations to the com country and, and particularly to our government supporting this critical heritage re research. Without it, we just wouldn't be able to continue the, the remarkable story of understanding where we humans come from. Thank you very much.